Greetings, Pastor Bob Reynolds here from True Life Community Seventh-day Adventist Church. You know, I really like to watch good magicians at work. I guess that means I enjoy being tricked or fooled or deceived. I always try to figure out how the magician tricked me. Sometimes I even find out how the trick worked and it turns out that it's so simple that a first grader could do it. I love to watch Penn and Teller. They're so good at deceiving and I can never figure out how they do that trick. They can hide things in their hand or up their sleeve or behind their back. Of course, they always add a bit of humor, which makes the deception even fun. It was at a 2009 annual meeting of the Society for Neuroscience in Chicago. Thousands of scientists had gathered to watch magicians perform and then chat about attention, memory, and perception. They were studying the way our minds are deceived. If they could learn this, they figure they can understand, diagnose, and even treat certain kinds of cognitive illnesses, illnesses that have to do with the function of the brain. Studying deception in the lab doesn't work very well because the subjects know that the scientists are going to try to fool them, to trick them. So, to overcome this, the scientists are using magicians because magicians are able to fool people without them even knowing it. Magicians use visual tactics, props, sounds and body movements to manipulate attention and memory. In other words, they trick us with misdirection, which means while we are thinking about one thing, they turn the tables and deceive us. And isn't that the way the devil deceives us? We look at a, a, a rich man that has all the nice things in life, the car, the, the, uh, the clothes, uh, all those the beautiful house, everything like that. And we wonder, we begin to wonder, how, how could I have things like that? And, and then the devil begins to creep in and he begins to deceive us into thinking that we could make money like that if we could just, if we could just uh, oh, maybe break into this house or, or uh, even rob a bank or something like that. <laughs> then, of course, we begin to come under this, the devil's control. Look at the book of Revelation and read chapter 12, verse 9. It says, the great dragon called the devil and Satan, that ancient serpent who is leading the whole world astray, was thrown out of heaven and came down to the earth with his evil angels. <laughs> He's here to trick us. He's here to misdirect us. Let's not fall for his tricks, all right? Father, we just thank you for Jesus, who is much stronger than the devil, and he can side with us and help us make good and wise decisions. In Jesus' name, amen.